Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Missy and today we're going to be discussing the Sizzix Big Shot Switch and the regular Gemini machine. I'm going to be telling you the pros and the cons, the similarities and the differences so that hopefully by the end of this video you'll know which machine is right for you. So both of these machines can use large and small plates. Now if you are looking into getting a Gemini machine, I recommend getting the large Gemini, the regular size, instead of getting the Junior. The reason being is you can use the large plates that come with the machine, but if you buy a set of Junior plates, you can use those in the machine as well. So the larger plates go through this way, and to get the machine to activate, you put the plates in this way for the smaller plates. So one of the major differences between these two machines is that the Sizzix Big Shot Switch can cut your Bigs dies, and the Gemini cannot do that. So you wanna take your Bigs die and have your cardstock laid on top, and then you just sandwich that in between your two clear cutting plates and then you run that through your machine. Closer look at this. This will not even fit. Just the main Biggs die will not fit into the Gemini machine at all. So it is a no-go for this little guy in the Gemini machine. This is the plating system that comes with your Gemini machine. So you get two clear plates, a magnetic shim, you will get a white milky type shim with yours. I replaced mine with a self-healing cutting mat and just because it keeps the plates from warping really bad. And then you get your metal shim right here and then your lovely embossing mat that you can do all kinds of fun things with. With this plating system, you receive a book. So there is a bit of a learning curve with this machine. So sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating to learn something new, but you have this handy book right here to go through and it will learn you all the different sandwiches that you need to be able to do embossing folders and cut multimedia dies and do your just regular die cutting. So don't be afraid to get it out, use it. <laughs> Because once you get this system down, it's super easy and just, just like riding a bike, you can do it. Don't be afraid about overloading either one of these machines because they have a built-in system to where if you overload the machine, it will actually take what's in there and reverse it back out of the machine. So don't be afraid of breaking these machines at all because they have that system built into both of these. The plating system that comes with the switch is two clear cutting plates. You have your adapter and then you have your base platform. The thing that I absolutely love about this machine, it is so very beginner friendly. You're gonna be in the frame. You're going to be. I'm trying to, he was gonna eat his food and I was gonna stop him. Am I on? Oh yeah, I forgot I would be <laughs> You'd be like tiptoeing in the back. Oh my god, that was funny though. You can see how thick this is. And because it is so large, it tends to be very heavy. So if you are having trouble with your hands, although a machine, like an electric machine, is so much easier on your hands, these plates are so much heavier than what you run through the Gemini machine just because they're so large. This is a pretty thick platform, but I love this because it is so beginner friendly. So that's the one pro on this machine. If you're a beginner, this is a no brainer. You have all the directions right here on the plates to tell you the different sandwiches that you need to create and do your embossing and your die cutting. So it makes it really easy. The only thing that they did not put on these um, two plates is the Biggs dies, how to cut those Biggs dies. So that's why I threw that into this video because you will not find those instructions 
on these plates at all. With that being said about the heaviness of those plates, there is a little secret weapon if you purchase it. And this is the magnetic platform. And you can use it in this machine. The magnetic platform is the equivalent of having your base platform and your adapter together. They are the same thickness. So, <laughs> Shorty. Okay, just let her go, let her go. It's okay. If my printer, one of my cats is on my printer in behind me and I think she just turned my printer on. So I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I have two kittens and they're so adorable, but it makes filming just a little bit harder. <laughs> so with these being the same width across, the same thickness, that means with this, you are only going to be able to do your wafer thin dies, your framelits, just any thin dies you will be able to cut with this using your two cutting plates anything that you see on this page is basically the same directions that are on here it's the only things that you can cut now there is one exception if an embossing folder is thin you will be able to use it on this but you only want to use one clear plate you don't use both of these because remember, this is like having an adapter on top of it. So you don't want to use two plates with this. So if you want to, this is a Gemini 3D embossing folder. Do not use a Tim Holtz folder for this because it is way too thick. And I will show you the thickness. I hope that this comes up on camera but it is, it's very thick, way thicker than a crafter's companion folder. So as long as you have a thin, like cuddle bug embossing folders or anything like that, and they are thin, you can get it to work with the small magnetic platform. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna put one of these plates away, and I'm gonna stick this right down here so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna take your piece of paper and spritz it really well on both sides. Lay it inside of your folder, just like that. Put it on top. Clear cutting plate on top of that. Turn your machine on. Go through. You can hear the pressure and you can see the pressure, but it's totally fine. I have not had a problem doing this in my machine. So we take it out. You can see the plate. And you can see the beautiful embossing detail. Perfectly fine, just absolutely beautiful. One thing I love about both of these machines is that they have a reverse system to them. For the Gemini, I have to press pause and then I have to reverse it back out using the reverse button. So there, it's a two button system right here. Unless I'm doing it wrong, I've pressed everything. Just trying to press the reverse, it's a no-go. You have to press pause and then reverse to get it to reverse back out. So with the switch, I absolutely love that there are only two buttons on this machine. And once we start running this through, all we have to do is push that button and it reverses it right back out. Just one push and done, and it comes back out flawlessly. One advantage to having the Gemini machine is it can cut multimedia dies. So this allows you to cut through several sheets of cardstock or a lot of fabric at one time. You can cut thin aluminum, chipboard, things like that. So there is a lot of different materials that this one machine will cut through, which makes it absolutely amazing. I'm gonna test out cutting this many sheets of cardstock 
with this one multimedia die. My clear cutting plate, this would be my Milky Shim, but it's my Fiskars self-healing cutting mat. I'm gonna lay it up like this, and then this is the mat that I always cut into. You can see I always use smaller plates through this machine. I just love the smaller, the junior plates but I don't use the larger plates very much in this machine. I tend to use my bigger plates in the actual switch machine for my larger dies. But with that being said, we are going to run this through the Gemini. It cut through every single layer. So I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty impressive. These are beautiful Anna Griffin dies, and you can cut Anna Griffin dies or her cut and emboss dies in both of these machines. And I have videos on my channel how to do it properly for both machines, but today I am going to show you with the switch how to do that. For this we're going to need our base plate our adapter, clear plate, the Anna Griffin die cut into the card stock, and I'm gonna lay down a little bit of tape, just low tack tape so that doesn't move. The Anna Griffin die is going to end up being cut side up on the platform. And then we're gonna follow that up with our clear plate and we're going to run that through the machine. Turn this over so our die is right there. Let's just stick that right there so it doesn't move. Turn the platform back up. I am going to remove the adapter plate. We no longer need that. So we're going to have our base platform, our clear cutting plate, this is how we have it like this, we're going to flip this back over and just let that fall right onto the plate. I'm going to bring in our Anna Griffin embossing mat and lay directly on top of that and then position your clear cutting plate on top of that and run it through the machine. And now your plate, once it gets a little warped like this, because I've cut quite a few dies with my switch since I've had it, it'll get to where you can kind of pop it back and forth. I've had no problem with this kind of warping at all, but you will have warping and there's ways to straighten your plates online if you look up that information. So we pull off our Anna Griffin mat and we just pop this out. This is just the a white card stock. This is the back. And hold on a second. I'm going to show you my die up close. It's not ruined at all. You can see. So I'm going to show you up close. This is a foil cardstock and her dies absolutely cut beautifully in both of these machines. So if you're if you're thinking about the Gemini machine and want to know how to use her dies in that, go check out that video on my channel. So both of these machines have a foil press that you can use in them. This is the foil press that you can buy for the Gemini machine. And it's absolutely amazing and you can do so many things with it. But to be perfectly honest, in my experience, this thing intimidated me really badly <laughs> and it took a lot for me to use this machine just because it has so many different settings and buttons on it. But if you learn how to use this, you can 
foil on different media and it's absolutely amazing and you can get amazing results with this. Don't be like me. Do not let yourself get intimidated. Um, but it did take a lot for me to be able to use this thing for the first time just because of all the settings and stuff. For the switch, you can use the Spellbinders Glimmer Machine. And this Glimmer foil system, I love it. <laughs> it is so straightforward and I do have a video on my channel showing how to work this properly with this machine and showing you the correct, like the card stock, everything to use to get amazing results. And with every foil press, it's trial and error. So don't be upset if it doesn't turn out perfectly the first time, you will get it and it will be amazing. One button, only one button. And you've got your power light and then you have your platform ready light. That's a no brainer for me. It's super simple and I can do this. I was not intimidated by this at all because like product intimidation is a real deal. It's a real thing. People suffer from it. Like their Cricut machines or their scanning cuts. They literally leave them in the boxes for months at a time because they're afraid to get them out. Really high anxiety. <laughs> so I was not one bit intimidated by this because it's one push button and it's so easy to learn. If you get the switch, get the glimmer if you're interested in foil pressing. So with both machines, you're gonna get some type of plate warping. Now there's some people that's posted pictures of their plates and like, I don't even know how they got that way. So some people have gotten some severely like warped plates, but this is my junior plates that I use in the regular Gemini a lot. And you can see I have quite a few cuts in this thing. And just like that, you can kind of see the warp in the plate, but it's not bad at all. So when it's like this, I tend to keep it when it's rainbowed like this, I just put it down like so. So that's my warp right there. And it's like this all the time and it never gets worse. And of course never gets better, <laughs> but I'm happy with this and it works for me. And I've never had to straighten my plates or anything. This is just what happens for me. This plate on the bottom never gets cut into. And I have tried and tried to do that with my large plates for the Sizzix <laughs> and not cut in to my bottom plate. And it never fails. I'll be working so fast and I will accidentally cut into that plate. You can see right here that I've got a couple different cuts on this plate. And I try so hard to always keep one of my plates cut free, no cuts on it. But accidents happen. If you own either of these two machines, drop in the comments below your pros and cons. And also, I tried to cover everything that I could in this video, but if I missed anything at all and you have a question, drop it below and I will absolutely get back to you. I will answer any of your questions. So until next time, I really hope this video helped you. And Butters and Shorty say bye-bye.